Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. The latest season of The Crown has proven to be a source of discomfort for Prince Harry, revealing the challenges he faces in reconciling personal trauma with the fictionalized portrayal of significant family events. The depiction of the final phone call between Princess Diana and her sons, William and Harry, has prompted Harry to approach the series with caution. While Prince William has steadfastly chosen not to watch The Crown, Prince Harry, in what could be described as morbid curiosity, or perhaps an obligation from his contractual arrangements with Netflix, has expressed a desire to view the series. However, the emotional toll of reliving painful memories has led him to request a trusted friend to pre-screen the episodes a preemptive measure aimed at protecting himself from potential distress. The portrayed phone call is a poignant moment in history, and William, in a past interview, has acknowledged its lasting impact on him. The series delves into the intricacies of this conversation, capturing the essence of a poignant farewell. The portrayal has the potential to evoke strong emotions for both William and Harry, blurring the lines between fiction and lived experiences. Harry's dilemma underscores the complexities of navigating a public portrayal of deeply personal and traumatic events. While he may be contractual tied to Netflix, the emotional toll of witnessing dramatizations of his family's history raises ethical questions about the balance between entertainment, artistic license, and the emotional well-being of those directly involved. As the public gains insights into the royal family's response to The Crown, it prompts a broader reflection on the ethical considerations surrounding the dramatization of real-life events. The series, known for its detailed reenactments of historical moments, places the royal family in a unique position of vulnerability, with their personal stories subject to public consumption. In Harry's case, the dual role of a public figure and a family member navigating personal trauma is evident. His decision to have a friend preview the series serves as a testament to the challenges he faces in reconciling the past with a televised interpretation. As the narrative unfolds, it highlights the intricate dance between maintaining a public image and addressing personal grievances within the constraints of contractual obligations. Prince Harry's decision to have a friend prescreen episodes of The Crown particularly those depicting the poignant final phone call between Princess Diana and her sons, reflects the deep emotional impact that reliving such tragic moments can have. The series, known for its dramatizations of historical events, has prompted ethical considerations regarding the portrayal of real-life, emotionally charged narratives. The recreated scene portrays William and Harry sitting side by side, passing the phone between each other during their last conversation with their mother. Harry, in particular, asks about her return home, expressing anticipation and a desire to see her again. The depiction raises questions about the authenticity of the dialogue, given that the details of the actual conversation have been kept private by the royal brothers. The emotional weight of that fateful night, the regret Harry expressed over the brevity of the call, and the lasting impact it had on him are undeniably challenging aspects for him to confront. The decision to revisit these memories through a televised portrayal requires careful consideration of the potential emotional toll. The broader question arises as to why Harry would subject himself to the revisitation of such a painful chapter of his life. While his curiosity or contractual obligations with Netflix might be motivating factors, the choice to watch the series underscores the delicate balance between personal trauma and public image. It's evident that the portrayal of these deeply personal moments raises ethical concerns about the line between artistic expression and the potential harm it may inflict on individuals with a direct connection to the depicted events. The decision to fictionalize real-life conversations and emotions adds an extra layer of complexity to the debate surrounding the responsibility of content creators when dealing with sensitive subject matter. As audiences continue to engage with The Crown and the royal family responds to its dramatizations, the broader conversation about the ethical considerations of storytelling, especially when based on real-life events, will likely persist. For Prince Harry, 
The emotional reckoning with his past, as presented by the series, adds another layer of complexity to his ongoing journey of navigating personal trauma in the public eye. The portrayal of deeply personal and emotionally charged moments, such as the final phone call between Princess Diana and her sons in The Crown, raises ethical concerns about the boundaries of storytelling and the potential harm it can inflict on those directly involved. The decision to depict real-life conversations, especially those of a tragic nature, poses challenges in balancing artistic expression with respect for the individuals involved. While the show's creators argue that it is a fictionalized dramatization, the realness of the events and the emotions involved make it a sensitive subject for those who experience the depicted moments. Prince Harry's decision to have a friend pre-screen episodes may indicate his awareness of the potential emotional impact. The portrayal of Prince Charles delivering the tragic news about Princess Diana's passing is also under scrutiny, with critics pointing out discrepancies between the show's depiction and Harry's own recollections. The divergence highlights the complexities of adapting real-life narratives for entertainment purposes and the responsibility of content creators to handle such sensitive subject matter with care. The broader question emerges about the ethical considerations of depicting private moments for public consumption, especially when those involved are still living. The royal family's experiences, though in the public eye, involve deeply personal and often painful chapters that demand a nuanced approach when brought to the screen. As discussions surrounding the ethical dilemmas of The Crown persist, it prompts a reflection on the impact of dramatizations on individuals' mental well-being and the potential exploitation of private moments for entertainment purposes. The evolving conversation underscores the need for ongoing dialogue about the ethical responsibilities of content creators and the potential consequences of blurring the lines between fiction and reality. The portrayal of deeply personal and emotional moments in The Crown has sparked concerns about the potential distortion of individual feelings and experiences. Angela Levin's insights into Prince Harry's sentiments and the show's decision to attribute those feelings to Prince William Ray's questions about the responsibility of storytellers in adapting real-life narratives for dramatic purposes. Levin's observation about the funeral scenes highlights the challenge of accurately capturing the nuanced emotional landscape of historical events, while also respecting the individual experiences of those involved. If, as Levin suggests, the show conflates Harry's emotions with William's, it blurs the lines between their distinct personal journeys and potentially misrepresents their responses to shared moments. The impact of such portrayals extends beyond entertainment, influencing public perceptions and shaping narratives about historical events. As viewers engage with the series, distinguishing between fact and fiction becomes crucial, especially when dealing with sensitive subjects involving real people who are still living. The potential for Prince Harry to feel upset, or even infuriated by the show's portrayal of his brother expressing emotions attributed to him underscores the personal nature of these depictions, and their implications for family dynamics. The risk of exacerbating existing tensions or creating new misunderstandings within the family becomes a significant ethical consideration for the creators of The Crown. The ongoing conversation surrounding the accuracy and ethics of dramatizing royal history emphasizes the need for transparency in storytelling and the importance of preserving the individual voices and experiences of those who lived through these events. As audiences navigate the complex terrain of historical dramatizations, a nuanced and empathetic approach becomes essential to avoid misrepresentations and uphold the integrity of personal narratives. The dilemma Prince Harry faces regarding his involvement with Netflix and the portrayal of his family's life story in The Crown raises complex questions about personal values, professional commitments, and the impact on familial relationships. Harry's dual role as a member of the royal family and a content creator for Netflix creates a unique tension. While he may have financial motivations for maintaining ties with the streaming platform, the potential harm to his family's reputation and the emotional toll of watching sensitive moments recreated for entertainment pose ethical challenges.
The PR expert's insight into Harry's potential reluctance to watch the series suggests a concern for the emotional distress he might experience. The expert emphasizes that the depiction may not align with Harry's own recollections and feelings, raising questions about the responsibility of content creators in portraying real-life events, especially those involving personal tragedies. The broader issue is whether Harry will take a stand against content that disrespects his family and exploits personal trauma for entertainment purposes. The decision to confront Netflix or remain silent may influence public perceptions of his priorities and values. It also underscores the complexities of navigating a role that blends personal history with professional commitments. As the situation unfolds, observers will be keen to see how Prince Harry balances financial interests with a sense of responsibility toward his family's legacy. His response to the portrayal in The Crown may provide insights into the challenges faced by public figures when dealing with the intersection of personal narratives and commercial ventures. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.